A one world religion center, the plans have now been unveiled in New York and they are planning to break ground soon. Images and video have now been released for the Abrahamic family house in New York. The plans will include a mosque, a church and a synagogue and were decreed by the higher committee of human fraternity. Now a Catholic archbishop is pushing back on Pope Francis, sounding the alarm on the blasphemous facility to be erected in Abu Dhabi. Before I get into this, if you're new here, hit the red button down below to subscribe and tap that notification bell so you are the first to know when the latest news is published. We Love Trump reports that the Bible is very clear when it comes to the great apostasy that is to come to the earth in the last days, and it appears as if we are in the midst of it. In 1 Timothy, the Bible says, Now the Spirit expressly says, that in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. One of those deceptive doctrines that is roaming the earth is the idea that all religions can coexist. The Higher Committee of Human Fraternity is now constructing a one world religious headquarters in the UAE called the Abrahamic Family House, which will consist of a church, a mosque, and a Jewish temple located all together in a complex at the capital of the UAE. Euronews published the puff, a puff piece we're about to show you, celebrating the center with all of the liberal buzzwords polishing this blasphemous campus. Watch. Hey everyone, I am Dalin Hassan. Welcome to Inspire Medias. This week we're focusing on the topic of inclusion and tolerance within regional societies. Starting with a project in the UAE, which will be a home to a mosque, a church, and a synagogue. Religious history was made in Abu Dhabi last year when the document on human fraternity was signed by Pope Francis and Dr. Ahmed El Tayeb, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar. It called for tolerance, universal peace, and the reconciliation of all faiths. Embodying this agreement, this year construction will start on a project called the Abrahamic Family House on Sadiat Island. Due for completion in 2022, the site will house a church, a mosque, and a synagogue. Award-winning Ghanaian British architect Sir David Ajay, who is spearheading the project, says he was profoundly honoured and humbled to receive the commission. And having identified limestone, timber and bronze as classical materials used in all three religions, Sir David has articulated them differently for each building in the capital. The project is being monitored closely by Pope Francis and Grand Imam Ahmed Eb Talib of Al-Azhar who both blessed the new project. Now let's take a look at what the complex will look like when construction finishes in 2022. Following the project's announcement, an archbishop of the Catholic Church who served as the apostolic nuncio to the United States, Carlo Maria Vegano, reacted to the House of Abrahamic Family on November 6, 2019, and he declares that this is a crime against the First Commandment, as it's Pope Francis's initiative to convert the Catholic Church into a global New Age religion through integration into the so-called Abrahamic Family of Universal Brotherhood in Abu Dhabi. Watch. Vigano responds to another crime against the First Commandment, namely Bergoglio's initiative to convert the Catholic Church into a global New Age religion through integration 
into the so-called Abrahamic family of Universal Brotherhood in Abu Dhabi. Archbishop Vegano compared this project to the Tower of Babel. He said, the building of the house of the Abrahamic family appears like a Babelesque enterprise designed by the enemies of God. Watch. What did Carlo Maria Vigano, as the supreme magisterial and pastoral authority, say on this? Carlo Maria Vigano compared this house to the Tower of Babel. He said, the building of the house of the Abrahamic family appears like a Babelesque enterprise designed by the enemies of God, of the Catholic Church, and of the only true religion capable of saving man and the whole creation from destruction, both present as well as eternal and definitive. The foundations of this Babelesque house are destined to give way and crumble. They arise precisely where, by the hands of the builders themselves, the only cornerstone is about to be removed, Jesus Christ, Saviour and Lord, on whom stands the house of God. First Epistle to Corinthians, chapter 3. Now closer to home in Washington, D.C., the AbrahamicHouse.org, they announced in a promotional video that was just published three days ago, the first ever national multi-faith incubator, incubator for social change, a co-living, co-learning, and co-creating space. Watch. Oh, it's so trendy and cute and fluffy. Doesn't it just give you warm feelings? Well, that's how the devil wants you to feel, right? Many Christians are not huge fans of the most recent Pope. He's broken a lot of traditions and made many public comments that are unbefitting of such an important figure. And this is one of those recent moves. So what do you think of the plans for this site? Do you agree with Archbishop Vigano? that this is a Babylon enterprise designed by the enemies of God? Is this a sign of the prophesized one world religion coming to pass? Comment below and please share this report with a person of faith. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. Thank you for watching that report. Are you a homeowner? Well, I got some interesting news for you because a new survey by Bankrate reveals that 38% of mortgage holders don't know their interest rate. Without knowing your interest rate, it's impossible to know whether refinancing is right for you. Some 19.4 million homeowners are in a position to save $309 or more on their monthly mortgage simply by refinancing. And that's why I love PayYourHouseOff.com. PayerHouseOff.com is the same website that I've used myself to check my own refinancing offers in the past. And doing it only takes a few minutes, but it could save you hundreds of dollars a month on your mortgage. And I highly recommend it. So see if you're qualified to refinance your mortgage today. Simply go to PayYourHouseOff.com or click the link below to check for offers. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report and to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below.
Thank you for watching, The Next News Network.